super hot fire. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Morning, fellow intellectuals. I'm Izzy. And I'm Lathan. I heard it was big brain time. IUK will be holding a bilingual family night here at FHS on February 12th from 5.30 to 7. Listen up. I'm not going to tell you again. Go to the theater after school today for the crew call-out for Big Broadcast. Mr. Taylor said he will use his telepathic powers to answer any question you have. Miss the first FAFSA night? Don't trip, dog. There will be another FAFSA night at the Purdue Extension Office February 25th from 4.30 to 7. A reminder for Photo Club members, you meet in room 150 today during community. Bring your cameras or cell phones because you'll be taking pictures. Also plan to stay after school as well to edit your top shots for the Spring Art Show. See Mrs. Caesar if you have any questions or cannot attend. I don't know who knows this or if it applies to you, but if you got caught, you got caught lacking. If you're an APUSH student and haven't taken your Chapter 17 reading quiz, you need to do so because last day to schedule is February 19th. The final payment for DEC Estate is due no later than this Thursday, which is tomorrow, to Mrs. Bishop. For lunch today in lines 1 and 2 will be taco meat with scoops, line 3 soup and salad bar featuring broccoli soup, line 4 is taco snack or flatbread pizza, and line 5 is closed. A happy birthday goes out to Luis Candelaria Soto and Alice Nice. Now let's send it to weather and sports. Thanks guys. Today should reach a high of 33 and a low of 25. We should be getting some snow tonight with a little bit of sleet mixed in. We could get up to 3 inches of snow tonight, so lace up your winter boots hot dogs. That's all for weather. Now you lay it with sports. Thanks, Calissa. Last night, the girls' basketball season came to an end against North Montgomery, 34-36. Jordan Fraser, Fraser, 11 points, Sydney Caesar, 10 points, and Liz Sandoval, 10 points, led the team in scoring. Congratulations to all the girls in putting effort into this year's season. That's all for sports. Now back to your host. Winter homecoming is next week. Yeah, that's right. It's that time of year again. The theme for the week is Winter Wonderland and Student Council has chosen corresponding spirit days. For Monday, Polar Express PJ Day, then it's Tropical Tuesday, then it's Whiteout Wednesday, then after that, on Thursday, it's Ugly Sweaters, and finally on Friday, it's Hot Dog Pride. To show our school, sprite, school pride, Student Council is welcoming each community to participate in our door decorating competition. Tuesday and Wednesday of next week during community will be your decorating times. Judgment will be reaped on Thursday. Now, let's go to Oda with more information on another awesome pathway offered by FHS. The computer tech support class allows students to explore how computers work. They learn the functionality of hardware and software components. Through hands-on activities and labs, students learn how to assemble and configure a computer, install operating systems and software, and troubleshoot hardware and software problems. In this class, students diagnose non-working computers, determine the issue, order parts, and replace the defective parts. The tech students are an integral part of assisting all student laptops. When students are not learning about the A-plus certification online, they are helping teachers and students troubleshoot issues with all technology in the building. The A-plus certification exam is a nationally recognized technology certification exam, and students have the opportunity to take it at no cost if the test is taken prior to graduation. After graduation, the cost of the exam is around $400. The technology department encourages all students in the course to take advantage of their free exam. Are you a girl interested in pursuing an engineering degree? If so, please join the Women in Engineering program for your college campus visit to Purdue University and enjoy a comprehensive engineering experience. It is a one-day engineering focused event geared towards young women in their junior or senior year of high school. This day is Monday, April 20th from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. If you're interested in this opportunity, check the chatter for the link to register for attendance. Now to video from Mrs. Long with the big wheel of fun. Hey hot dogs! Sheer excitement for our teachers this morning. We are going to spin the big wheel of fun. The big wheel of fun was created by Anthony Bacon's class to create fun for people that work at Frankfurt High School. Here are the rules. I spin the wheel, Wednesdays and Fridays. I look at these numbers. The numbers correlate to the people that work in this building. I will call out their name and they have until the next day we spin to claim their prize. Teachers, you cannot go running and screaming out of your class and leave the, the children unattended. But other than that, come on down, come to my office and get a prize. First spin. 
Ooh, number 16, Jason Fortner. You are a winner, Jason Fortner. Spin number two. Woo, number 81, Michael Taylor. Michael Taylor is our second winner of the day, and we get one more. Number 21, Deidre Jagger. So, Mr. Fortner, Mrs. Jagger, and Mr. Taylor, come down and claim your prize. Happy February. Congratulations to you three for winning the Big Wheel of Fun. Go get your prize already. Anyways, that's it for this hump day version of the announcements. Be sure to like and subscribe to see Izzy and I again, and I think Izzy said it's big brain time. If a bear has you stuck in a tree, try to atomic elbow it. Better die a man's death.